guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a feeding routine video. Now this is not going to be as long as the last one. This is actually just going to be a winter feeding routine video. Um, just to kind of show the difference between feeding the animals that live outside uh, during the winter versus during the summer. So this won't include uh, most of the indoor animals. I think the only ones I'm going to put in it are just the puppies for right now since um, they're, I guess, kind of new and weren't in the last video. Um, but we're going to be feeding the animals that are outside since um, there's a difference between how we feed them during the summer versus how we're feeding them right now that it is winter. It's a really cold day today. Uh, we had a pretty warm Christmas and also a warm um, New Year's Eve and then the next day it was like really cold and we're in Texas so what I mean by that is it gets down to like 20 degrees at night which is like gonna die freezing for us. <laughs> so today it's kind of cloudy and cold um, but we gotta feed the animals so I'm gonna show you how we get that done. So since it's winter right now, what we're doing is we feed a bale of hay to the alpacas and llamas uh, and goats every day. Uh, they get an entire bale for one day. Uh, during the summer, we don't feed this because they have pastures that they go out and they eat grass on. And during the summer, um, if we do feed a bale, they're actually lighter bales. So these bales are really heavy and luckily I have the hubby <laughs> to help me because they're super heavy bales that I actually can't lift. One day, maybe one day. One day.
All right, so my camera died earlier, and I'm actually filming this part right now. So I'm going to be um, giving grain to the animals. So first up, I'm gonna be putting some grain into Clarissa's bowl right here. Okay, so I put some food into Clarissa's bowl, and now they don't get a lot of grain. Remember, grain is a supplement, so you don't feed them a lot of grain. They should be eating mostly grass. Now, everybody gets separated when they get fed grain. So, I'm gonna spread this out for the goats. See, they're waiting. I'm gonna go over here and let them in. Down. All right, come on. Come on. And now they're being able to get their grain over here. And they have a couple of bowls, but they'll get to them. And then Penny over here gets her own bowl. And of course, the baby goats are not eating grain yet. They kind of pick at the hay. Um, but they don't need any green at all. Hey guys, hey, hey. <laughs> all right, come on, come get your food. Come on, come get your food. And then here I'll spread their food out for them. Now some people say that I, you know, am not feeding them enough. Just remember, this is a supplement. Uh, it's kind of like if you see someone giving their kid Flintstone vitamins, you wouldn't tell that person they're starving their kid. Um, obviously, it's not the main part of their diet. Their diet should be mostly hay. Now, Mesquite usually doesn't want to challenge any of the animals, so I'll usually feed her and Willow separate. Okay, so the other thing that is different about my winter feeding routine is that I have nine corgi puppies to feed. Now they have just started eating solid food so they're transitioning from nursing to solid food. And I feed them three times a day because I'm really trying to get them to stop nursing from Luna. Uh, she's very skinny and she is also very sore um, down there so we're trying to get her to not have to nurse anymore and so we're feeding them three times a day. Now once they finish eating, I put some water in their bowls. Okay, so once the puppies have had a chance to eat and spill their water, I, you know, give them some time to poop and then I take them all out and clean their area. I clean this um, three times a day right now, every time after I feed them. And then after I clean it, I'll actually let them run around the room, but while I clean it, they have to go into a box, <laughs> otherwise they don't really let me do anything.
and we're all done, <laughs> at least for right now. Um, I have to do this this whole process three times a day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the puppies, be sure to check out the puppy vlogs. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.